Ah, hello, Dinky Doo. A very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, the World Stop Broadcaster, popping up on Facebook Live on Tuesday morning. It's about half past ten, Tuesday morning, and uh, I just thought I'd see how you all are, what you thought of the leadership debate, and if you've got anything you'd like to stick in, stick in your tuppence worth, stick in your oar. So you'll not be used to seeing me popping up at this time in the morning, but I thought I'd just do it and uh, and see what's what. Just see who's out there, see who's about. A bit like Crocodile Dundee, that sort of thing. Just say who's out there. Anyway, uh, let us know where you're watching, if you're watching, uh, who you are, and um, what's what. So feel free to interact with me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, just for you, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. Uh, you'll see from your Facebook, I've also just done a live stream, and I've just done a periscope, so I thought, time for a quick Facebook Live just to see what's happening. You can't hold on to the title of the world's top broadcaster and not talk to not just one nation, but all nations. A very good morning to you. Ian Walker's watching. Steve McKenzie's watching. Lovely to have you with us, guys. Uh, I think a lot of people probably can't get on their Facebook at work. So that perhaps is um, why it's an interesting time to pop up and just see who is about people who are in charge of their own Facebook, people who decide if they're going to watch Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo, at what time. Of course, the big show is Sunday nights at 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 hours, British summer time. Always be there or be square. Never, ever, ever miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a second of Scotty McClue. You miss a moment of life. Alfred James Wright has just shared the video. I do appreciate that, Alfred James. Thank you very much for that. As I say, it's really just a quick good morning and um, see how everybody's feeling after the leaders' debate. Was it very effective, the leaders' debate? Did you enjoy it? That sort of thing. So it's uh, it's on spec. It's unannounced. Scotty McClure has popped up unannounced. That's why we're calling it a Tuesday pop-up. Now, uh, can I also keep you up to date Every single one of you watching, if you could be so kind as to go to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, uh, just pop that into Google, Scotty McClue, S-C-O-T-T-I-E, that's the Scotty McClue, capital M, small c, capital C, L-U-E, that's the McClue, Scotty McClue YouTube channel, and if you can click subscribe. So if you've got access to YouTube, if you've got a YouTube account, please subscribe. I need about a hundred and odd of you to do that, and then we are seriously in business uh, on YouTube as a platform. That would be great. Good morning, says Kenny McAnulty. Good morning, Kenny. Lovely to have you with us and a warm welcome to Scotty McClure's Facebook Live pop-up this Tuesday morning. Jim Coyle's watching Dinky Doo to you, Jim. Lovely to have you with us as well. The word does get round, of course, and people think, oh, there's the big man on. There's Scotty McClue broadcasting live on Facebook Live just for you. We'll pop up and say Dinky Doo. Um, who else have we got? Thank you, says Kenny. A great pleasure, Kenny. Lovely to interact. This is the future of broadcasting. There's a tremendous amount of interest in the Scotty McClure broadcast. They are punching way, 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 way above their weight in media terms. A lot of uh, senior executives are very, very interested in the fact. I, I know why, because um, they're probably panicking that everything is going to go online. I can remember working in commercial television and radio when they were talking about the advertising going online. And uh, of course, one or two of the dinosaurs poo-pooed it. <laughs> no, no, that'll not happen. No, no. Newsflash, it happened. And uh, it's the same with the broadcasting. You've got franchises out there worth millions and millions of pounds, but the management need to protect these franchises and make sure they've got the top talent on there. Um, not that that's an advert for Scotty McClure, of course. Morning, Scotty, says Elizabeth Jenkins. Dinky do to you, Elizabeth. Hi, Scotty, I see in the recent polls. Uh, SNP, oh, no, 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 no. SNP will not be. Listen, can I tell you the Labour Party has all but annihilated itself in Scotland for not backing independence? That speech that was made by a former Prime Minister just before the referendum, 
and uh, remember just under half of the Scots voted for independence then. The most recent figure I've heard banded about is that now almost 72% of Scots want independence. There is a massive, massive appetite. Don't listen to the mainstream media because that'll just tell you a lot of nonsense. You'd need a sack of salt if you're watching mainstream media. So make your own judgments, right? The uh, I'm no political animal, but the SNP obviously has a superb track record in Scotland. Scotland's never been so well run. You've got Nicola Sturgeon before her, you had Alex Salmond, very, very fine politicians, people of very high integrity. And most of the country would like these people running them. So don't listen when folks say people are fed up, that it's divisive, just a lot of rubbish. Out with the whole political spectrum, uh, Scotland could stand independence because we pay £40 billion a year to Westminster and look how poor Scotland is as a result of it because we're being held down with so-called austerity but we're robbed to pay back the banks. Go back to what you do best, Scotty. Radio, 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 says Paul Doherty. Indeed, it's not all that easy to go back to it because as I was telling people earlier, radio's become a jukebox. Uh, playing off a computer with very, very, very few presenters now. So there you go, that's what I mean. We just need to get in free independence and be free from Westminster, says Scott Kerr. Good morning, Scotty, says Steve Burrows. Good morning to you, Steve. Lovely to hear from you. How are things with you? Steve, I did a tribute to Manchester. It's on a periscope, and you'll see it on Twitter, on Facebook. And it's also uploaded to YouTube. So you just put in Scotty McClue tribute to Manchester and you'll see it there. I did it last week, last Friday, just after 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, lots of you coming on and reacting. This is superb. There's Nivag. Morning, Scotty. Good morning, Nivag. Lovely to hear from you and Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClue, to every single one of you. Uh, so there we are. So yes, um, television is changing its whole face with the Scotty McClure show going online and attracting so much attention. So it's a big, big, big discussion subject right at the highest echelons of all media. They're not so worried about the numbers at the moment, but we will build big, big, big numbers. And uh, that's when people realize, hold on a minute, what are we doing with a television and radio station when somebody can click their phone? Uh, so there you go. You're a top man. You should be the king of Scotland, says Kenny McAnulty. Thank you, Kenny. A very kind thing to do. Scotland already has a monarch, though. The Queen is the Queen of Scots. So there's no problem with that. And we would, of course, keep the crown uh, when we go independent. We will, of course, keep the crown. Hi, Scotty. It's me again from the Broch. I can't be online as I'm working. Alan? I'm that glad you're working up in the broch there, and uh, I'm sending out lots of good things to you. Uh, I hope I's all right up at the Doric there, and uh, the, the broch is doing okay. I, uh, I, seen a, I seen a boat just leaving the harbour, so uh, again, Evans are right, and all that sort of thing. In fact, am I right in thinking, was it the broch? Somebody had posted that the lifeboat had been out. Tell me, eh, I don't want to eh, alarm anybody, but the lifeboat had had a shout. Scotty, Manchester was heartbreaking, says Kenny. It was indeed, Kenny. And as I say, that's why I felt obliged to do the tribute, because I eh, had many happy years in Manchester. I worked at Media City. I tell you all this in the tribute. And um, I performed at the arena in front of almost 20,000 of a live audience. So I know what was going on there. I know what it was like. I could picture it and my heart just sank and I thought I wish I was doing the radio phone in in Manchester so that the people had somewhere to go to talk. When a big crisis happens people need to talk. So there you go. All right says Jonathan Brown. All right to you Jonathan Brown. And uh, so Alan Smith you get yourself back to work now or I'll come up a broch and, uh, and here serious what do we have to do there? We need a lot of work. There's a lot of fish to gut, uh, and that's other thing in our. Um, now, and then there's a land to rent as well. Uh, there was a farmer up near a broch, and he won a lottery. Somebody says, what are you going to do with it? He says, I'll just keep farming until it's all done. 
So there you go. Nice tribute, Scotty, says Steve. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, the lifeboat's out. Um, uh, like ex crewmen, myself, a good bunch of guys. Oh, you'll be great guys. Everybody's always pleased to see the lifeboat, even if you're your boats be calmed or whatever's happened but some of the seas that you guys deal with up there are just incredible your courage and your bravery is beyond all and i know you don't like being called heroes but that's what you are so there you are you'll just have to suck it up as we say you'll have to suck up being called heroes you lifeboatmen out there and um, now who else have we got lol says alan smith uh, yes did you like that one alan dinky do and uh, scotty when are you going to hear you on the radio it's not the same without you says Aaron wright yes i know we need to get back on the radio and get the chit chat going with all of you i hear scotty you're a scottish icon now up there with harry lauder keir hardy robert buns and sir walter scott so you've got keir hardy harry lauder Walter Scott, Robert Burns and Scotty McClue. Marvellous, can I tell you that the top brands in Scotland, I would imagine it's still the same now, were Scotty McClue, Radio Clyde, Scott FM and um, Tunnock's Caramel Wafers. These were, oh and Bars Iron Brew. These were the top brands in Scotland, I would imagine still are the top brands in Scotland. I feel very privileged to one of the top brands in Scotland. I was just saying on uh, the uh, Periscope this morning, uh, if you want your advert done, if you're thinking of advertising your business in television and radio, talk to me, Scotty McClure, and I'll do the voiceover for you. Or better still, I will appear in your advert, and then you might actually sell some stuff. So there we go. Please, I beg of you, if you run the business, don't appear in your own advert because it looks naff and the people you're paying a lot of money to won't tell you that. But very often I've, I've, I've yet to see somebody successfully appear in their own adverts. If you're hell bent on appearing in your own advert, come to me and I will coach you for it so that you look superb. All right. So do that. Get in touch with Scotty McClure. I'm a big, big coach for all that media voices everything like that scotty mcclure is your man how's your dues in the day are they i pecking i fuz your dues fuz your dues are they are are you pecking up that's what it's all about uh you're also up there with bars iron brew says hanman right thank you i thank you ah uh, oh i thank you marvelous stuff the lifeboat men are the salt of the earth says kevin mcadulty they are indeed volunteers and if you go out there, oh, if you're new, if it's your first trip on the lifeboat, you could seriously lose your lunch, right? If they take you out to show you the lifeboat, you could lose your lunch if there's a good sea running. So I'm just tipping you the wink, okay, because I don't want to put anybody off if they're having a late plate of wheat bangs. But your body makes a decision when you're at sea. It says, right, either I can work on dealing with your balance and they bring back some equilibrium to your brain or i can work on your breakfast uh, i don't think i'll work in your breakfast so if you wouldn't mind saying cheery bye to that then i'll work on your balance and your hearing oh oh <laughs> here you go uh, the lifeboat the air ambulance crew are priceless to steve but you're absolutely right steve Hello, Scotty. Any advice for a 20-year-old who's interested in getting into politics? I'd love to make a difference here in the United States, but I'm having trouble with motivation and just doing it. Ralph M. Monk Jr., you are not having trouble, right? You're lacking a little bit in confidence. So what you need to say, Ralph, is I can and I will. That's step one. The second thing you have to say, Ralph, when you get up in the morning, this is the moment and i am the one now if you do that you will succeed decide what part of politics you want to operate in speak to people all the time now only a small number will help you because you will be good and they will wish they were you starting out in politics how fantastic is that so only a small amount will help you you need a very very thick skin so there you are i'm always being asked would i stand uh, as a politician and as yet to date i haven't said yes 
uh, because um, I'm really uh, more of an economist, to be honest, more of a practical character, and I've also struggled to tell any whoppers. So there you go. But that's my advice to you. Uh, Arnold Clark was successful, says Andrew Thompson. Yes, well, Arnold Clark's business is very successful, the late Arnold Clark now. And uh, yes, he was very good, but um, that was maybe just the guy. So there you go. Very good in his commercial, I agree. Uh, so that's my advice for you, Ralph M. Monk Jr. in the United States. Are you happy that uh, Katie Hopkins is now sacked and keeping her man puffed out? As she should be, says Alfred Jeffrey. I don't think one way or the other. I don't think about her at all. Um, I have to say that Katie has made very, very little impact on me. The answer is, will she still be around in 25 years' time, broadcasting not just to one nation, but to several nations? That's what we're asking. So, no, I don't take any delight in uh, NMD having uh, a time of it in broadcasting, because it's a very, very tough business. And you need to be extremely thick-skinned. I mean, I have been let go from a number of stations, foolishly, of course, but then the people don't have a big enough set to come back to and say, Scotty, uh, we'd like to apologise. We made a wee mistake. We've lost our, our audience, and we wonder if you would be good enough to come back. Draw a line under it. Why not? And um, So there we are. Uh, and when right, Katie Hopkins should live in a cave. So there we go. Um, absolutely, as I say, she made very little impact to me one way or the other. The real test of a broadcaster is their everlasting longevity. How long does a broadcaster last? Now, I've only lasted uh, 33 years professionally and 40 years to date. By my calculations, I have another 25 years of successful careering in front of me. The next step needs to be a big one. It needs to be television or radio, perhaps in the UK or perhaps in America or Australia. They're big countries and uh, Australia treats the broadcasters very, very well indeed. And they're always looking for them. So there we are. Um, lots and lots more from you. Right. Can we all have a share? And uh, I'll push off, guys, and let you get on with your day. It's been lovely to see you. I hope you have a great day. And uh, keep looking out for everything from Scotty McClue. If every single one of you can go on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel and click subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It's only a click. So you just put into Google Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And then you'll see the red button, a little red oblong that says subscribe. Just click on it. We're at about 290,000 views. And we've only got uh, something like 800 or 900 subscribers. So if you can all get on and subscribe, that would be great. Those of you who believe in what I'm doing, I'm trying to set up an independent media platform. I need funding, not a lot of funding, but uh, just little bits and pieces. So if you've got a spare fiver or tenner, and uh, you've got your debit card or credit card out there, then go to gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen McClue and stick something in there and you'll be well thanked, guys. The um, GoFundMe has been a tremendous success. It's just a small amount we're raising, £5,000 interim target. That's the interim target. And uh, we've already got £400 due to the generosity of you gorgeous gorgeous people so if you're feeling flush and even if you're not go on to gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue and click share with facebook and share with twitter mary cart is watching dinky do to you scotty you should have your own talk shows as i went thank you paul doherty says dc scotty absolutely listen to you on sunday scotty says steve Look forward to seeing you all there. I'll sing you the goodbye song. I wish you all a good morning. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we tarzain au revoir and a cheerio. Have a gorgeous day, guys. Dinky-doo. Scotty McClue has left the building.